thousand pieces. What you see here today is about 150, maybe 200 pieces that uh, speak to the existence of blacks in America at the point when slavery started uh, to the current day, which is uh, stuff like a black president, uh, Black Lives Matter movement. You'll see some Trayvon Martin uh, pieces over here. <clears throat> As you walk around, you'll start, you'll see the slavery era. You'll see the development of propaganda which portrays blacks as exaggerated and negative uh, images. Uh, you'll move on to the Reconstruction era and see some things that happened there, the Civil Rights Movement. Uh, then you move to the Black Power Movement, the Black Arts Movement. You'll get into hip hop, uh, some stuff from the dawn of hip hop. And as I stated before, current day items. So. Uh, I'm just going to draw your attention to a couple of things before we get started. Okay. If I hand these to you, I want you to hold them up over your head. <coughs> Both hands. Okay. Those are pretty heavy, right? That's one side of a shackle. Uh, that someone who was in bondage and slavery would have to wear. So as you see here, the ankle would go in one part and the wrist would go in the other part and there would be a chain that goes across the body linking them to another, another duplicate. So you can pass that around once you want to see how heavy that is. And for punishment, oftentimes uh, they would have something called the whooping post where they would Ties, tie uh, African that's in bondage to the whipping post or make them hold the whipping post and whip and beat them with a whip like this or a whip like there various types of whips that exist. So imagine if you received a bunch of lashes on your back, what would happen? Your skin would, your skin would split. First it would, it would turn into some welts and then it might split. Now imagine if you got this kind of abuse and you already worked in the sun for 12 hours, in the southern sun for 12 hours, um, and you get this kind of abuse, the next day with your back open, what would happen with your back open, your skin open from, from abuse? Would it attract insects? Yes. Yeah. Would it maybe continue to bleed in some cases if you move a certain way? So these are some of the conditions, the horrible conditions. Anybody been down south? Anybody been down south during the summer? What does it feel like? Okay. So imagine you're working from sun up to sundown in that heat. 